Good morning, kids! Welcome to our online class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Week 6, Quarter 2. Our lesson for today is about illustrates and writes related equations for each type of multiplication. Most essential learning competencies illustrates and writes a related equation for each type of multiplication, repeated addition, array counting by multiples, and equal jumps on the number line. Let's start our lesson by reading a problem solving. There are five bicycles parked in the playground. If each bicycle has two wheels, how many wheels are there in all? To find the answer, we can do the following. First, count by twos. Again, there are five bicycles. One, two, three, four, five. Each bicycle has two wheels. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We do the counting by twos. So there are 10 wheels in all. This is called skip counting. We can also use the number line. We will do the equal jump by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We call it equal jumps on the number line. We can also do add by twos. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals ten. 10 wheels in all. This is called repeated addition. Another is multiply to find the total number of wheels. Question, how many groups of wheels are there? There are 5 groups and each group has 2 wheels. So, 5 groups of 2's are 10. We write 5 times 2 equals 10. Or we say 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Therefore, there are 10 wheels in all. The number 5 and 2 are called factors. These are the numbers we multiply. 5 times 2 equals 10. The number 10 is called product. It is the answer in multiplication. Multiplication is the short way for repeated addition. Let us look at more examples. How many groups of bananas are there? 1, 2, 3. So there are three groups of bananas. How many bananas are in each group? Correct! Two! Each group has two bananas. The addition equation is 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. And the multiplication equation is 3 times 2 equals 6. We can also use the number line. Let's do the equal jump by 2's. 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, 6. Another example. How many groups of cherries are there? Let's count. 1, 2, 
three, four. There are four groups of cherries. How many cherries are in each group? Each group has four cherries. So the answer is four. The addition equation is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. And the multiplication equation is 4 times 4 equals 16. We can also do the number line. Let's do the equal jump by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. 4, 8, 12, 16. Let's study about arrays in multiplication. We can use arrays to help us understand multiplication better. An array is an arrangement of objects in rows. And columns. There are three rows of four, or three times four equals twelve. There are four columns of three, four times three equals twelve. These flowers are arranged in rows and columns. We can write two multiplication sentences for this. 3 times 4 equals 12 or 4 times 3 equals 12. Let's have our activity. Write two multiplication sentences to match each picture. Number 1 is done for you. So the answer for number 1 is 2 times 3 equals 6 and 3 times 2 equals 6. Now it's your turn for the next numbers. Number 2. Number three, number four. Number five. Another activity. Write the addition and multiplication equation for each set. Number one. Write the addition sentence and write the multiplication sentence. Number 2. Write the addition sentence and write the multiplication sentence. Number 3. Write the addition sentence and write the multiplication sentence. Number 4. Write the addition sentence and write the multiplication sentence. Number 5. Write the addition sentence and write the multiplication sentence. Another activity. Find the sums then give the multiplication equation. 
Number 1. 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals blank. Or, blank times blank equals blank. Number 2. 9 plus 9 equals blank. Or, blank times blank equals blank. Number 3. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals blank. Or, blank times blank equals blank. Number 4. 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals blank. Or, blank times blank equals blank. Number 5. 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals blank. Or, blank times blank equals blank. Very good, kids! Kids, did you understand our lessons? So again, what did you learn today? Correct! It's about illustrates and writes related equation for each type of multiplication. Kids, I hope you have learned a lot on this topic. Until our next lesson, bye-bye kids!